Alright, hello folks. Um, we're going to do some readings. And I'm going to start tonight with tonight's reading and actually go backwards over the last week. Now, every night, me and my woman, we sit down and we read. And we actually have been reading in our psalms. And we read one or two psalms a night, depending on the, the uh, just whatever strikes us that night, how far we go. And then every day, I'm given another, uh, well, actually a few, but I mean the one for reading. I, I always, the way I do is kind of like Jonathan does. I just open the book, and where it falls, it falls. And uh, quite often, in fact, um, every time, uh, we'll read that section, and then we'll read the psalm that we left off at the night before, and they'll match up to the same subject matter and so tonight and it was funny because I was the new Zeph pod is up by the way uh, you can go to the free Masonic knowledge channel or uh, Rogers channel at no religionistas uh, and get the new Zeph pod uh, it's called uh, two separate seeds and Rima and it's funny he started that out uh, reading some scripture that we actually read at night uh, two nights ago which is probably the same night since I know it takes about a day for it to get posted up and stuff uh, I think it was the same night that he did the podcast he was reading the same scripture that we were reading um, go figure you know <laughs> but um, so I'm going to start with some I'm, I'm actually uh, a week ago, I was kind of urged to read some uh, the scriptures that we read that night because they were so fitting uh, to what was going on. And, well, the Lord knows me better than I know myself, and, and I'm a procrastinator. So I'm actually going to basically start from tonight's, and then tomorrow I'll read another one, which will be actually be probably the night before. We'll see how it goes. But eventually I'm going to get those readings in, maybe even later tonight, uh, and recorded to post up of those chapters we were reading at the time. Tonight's chapter starts with what I opened up to, and I actually opened this up to this um, earlier today, before lunchtime actually. And then I got to working on stuff and had to do other stuff and leave and this and that and you know how the days go. So I had just left the book open, my, my paper paperback version, or it's not paperback, it's a hardcover, but you know, the paper version of my Bible here, and uh, King James Version, of course. And uh, we didn't read it until tonight. Tonight it was our reading together, and it was Job 5. And I'm going to read that here now. Um, and then we're going to go to the psalm that we actually left off at last night. Um which, as usual, matched right up to what he had given me this morning in Job 5 here. And it is pertinent to this time. Um, this is not a prophecy reading as some of my readings before. This is a message reading. And so we'll start Job 5, King James Version. And um, most people are probably familiar with the story of Job and what he went through. Job was actually the very first book in the Bible I ever read. Uh, in full back when I was in 1989 uh, when I was uh, going through my Job experience basically when the um, the Lord brought me low and to, to uh, waken me up a little bit so Job 5 King James Version call now if there be any that will answer thee and to which of the saints wilt thou turn for wrath killeth the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one. I have seen the foolish taken root, but suddenly I cursed his habitation. His children are far from safety, and they are crushed in the gate. Neither is there any to deliver them. Whose harvest the hungry eateth up, and taketh it even out of the thorns, and the robber swallowth up their th substance. Although affliction cometh not forth of the dust, neither doth trouble spring out of the ground. Yet man is born unto trouble, as the sparks fly upward. 
I would seek unto God, and unto God would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number, who giveth rain upon the earth, and sendeth waters upon the field, to set up on high those that be low, and though, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointeth the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime, and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor hath hope, and iniquity stopped her, stoppeth her mouth. Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. For he maketh sore, and bindeth up. He woundeth, and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall be no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shalt not sin. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thy grave in full age, as like as a shock of corn cometh in this season. Lo this, we have searched it, so it is, hear it, and know thou it for thy good. We'll run over here to Psalm 62, which is the one we had left off last night. And it says, Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation, he is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall shall ye be, and as a tottering fence. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, and they bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly, say la. My soul wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Amen. And um, I suggest, if you can, you can either come here to the uh, Bible Suite, which is at um, biblos.com. It's a great, uh, great site. I mean, it, it's just an incredible site. It has everything anybody would ever want. It has all your different versions of the Bible. And I've said this in previous readings before, too, but just again. And you can come and you can compare Job 5 with Psalm 62. You can compare how they're talking about the same thing. And that they're talking about uh, many, you know, many of the same phrases basically are within both of these at the same time. And um, they go together. And especially in this reading. <laughs> and I thank you for joining me for this short reading. And uh, take it to heart. Study your word. The Lord is great.
Amen.